Well, good evening and uh, welcome. It's Thursday the 11th of February and uh, I just uh, thought I'd try something a little bit different uh, this evening. I've been really enjoying reading uh, a book uh, called Gentle and Lowly. It's about uh, the Lord Jesus and uh, the subtitle is The Heart of Christ for Sinners and Sufferers. And it's written by Dane Ortland, but um, really it's uh, reflecting on the work of Thomas Goodwin, who was a Puritan writer and uh, he wrote a book called The Heart of of Christ. You can see that reflected uh, in the new title of this book. Um, but I've just been reading a, a chapter that's reflecting on words of Jesus in chapter 6 of John's Gospel. Uh, Jesus says, whoever comes to me I will never cast out. And uh, in this particular chapter uh, it's a book by John Bunyan that's, um, that's sort of in the background. Um, you know uh, him probably most famously for The Pilgrim's Progress but he did write other books and he wrote a lovely book called Come and Welcome to Jesus Christ. And um, uh, lots of the book is a reflection on these verses in John chapter 6. Uh, Jesus teaching after he's fed the 5,000 uh, and he's pronouncing himself, isn't he, in those chapters as the bread of life given for the spiritually uh, hungry. So Jesus declares, all that the Father gives me will come to me and whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. It's a wonderful, wonderful promise, isn't it? Whoever comes to me. And Dane Altman writing here, he says, we don't come to a set of doctrines. We don't come to a church. We don't even come to the gospel. Now, those things, of course, are all vital, but most truly, he says, we come to a person. We come to Christ himself, whoever comes to me, Jesus says. Well, Bunyan, when he's reflecting on it, he's uh, using the old King James uh, translation. So uh, that verse, John 6, verse 37 in the King James says, I will in no wise cast out, Jesus says. And he's picking up on this, this sort of sense of, of fear and trepidation that when we do come to Jesus, uh, well, we sometimes are afraid that he won't receive us, that he won't welcome us. And uh, into those uh, fears and feelings, Bunyan says, this promise, this promise from Jesus, I will in no wise cast you out. And he says, it is a wonderful promise. In no wise cuts the throat of all objections, Bunyan says, spoken by the Lord Jesus for that very end and to help the faith that is mixed with unbelief. And it is, this is still Bunyan, as it were, the sum of all promises Neither can any objection be made upon the unworthiness that you find in yourself that this promise will not assoil. I will in no wise cast you out. And then he lists, Bunyan lists, um, almost sort of has a conversation with himself. So he says, but I am a great sinner. I will in no wise cast you out, says Christ. But I am an old sinner. I will in no wise cast you out, says Christ. But I am a hard-hearted sinner. I will in no wise cast you out. But I am a backsliding sinner, you say. I will in no wise cast you out, says Christ. But I have served Satan all my days. I will in no wise cast you out. But I have sinned against light. I will in no wise cast you out, says Christ. But I have sinned against mercy, you say. I will in no wise cast you out, says Christ. But I have no good thing to bring with me. I will in no wise cast you out, says Christ. Well, they are uh, wonderful words, a wonderful promise from the Lord Jesus. Uh, the chapter goes on and um, uh, he quotes from Psalm 63, verse 8, um, expressing, capturing for us the, the sort of double sidedness of, of what's going on in these voices. That as we come to Jesus, as we cling to him, uh, the wonderful promise that he will in no wise uh, cast us uh, cast us out. Psalm 63 verse 8 says, uh, My soul clings to you, your right hand holds, upholds me. My soul clings to you, your right hand upholds me. So I hope that's a little encouragement to you, just a short, um, uh, short uh, little thought this evening, that as we seek to cling to Jesus, as we seek to... Um, uh, come to Jesus and keep on coming to him, that wonderful promise that as we cling, well, his uh, right hand upholds us. Jesus will lose none. He will uh, cast away, uh, in no wise cast away, uh, those uh, that come to him.
Yeah, so let me lead us in a prayer and um, uh, pray particularly that uh, particularly uh, as we uh, continue to go through the, the troubling times that we're in, that we would, uh, we would uh, stick close to the Lord Jesus. Let's pray. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never cast out. And my soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. Our Father God, we thank you for that wonderful invitation from the Lord Jesus to come to him. Thank you that he welcomes all. He makes that invitation to all. And thank you for, thank you for the wonderful promise that all who do come to him, uh, he will in no wise cast out. Father, thank you that you keep hold of us and that Jesus can say all that the Father or that uh, the Father gives me will come to me. Father, we praise you for your strong hold on your children, that you will never let us go. And we pray, Father, particularly through our worries and anxieties at the moment, that that would be a precious and uh, great comfort to us. We pray particularly for any we know who are uh, going through particularly hard times, those who uh, perhaps are grieving. Uh, those who are worried for loved ones. We pray, Father, for a special sense of your um, closeness, your keeping, your watching over them and your guarding. We pray that they would know this wonderful promise tonight, that you will in no wise cast them out. Pray that they would know your hand upholding uh, and uh, keeping them close. Uh, Father God, we thank you for the many precious promises of your word. We praise you that uh, you not only make promises, but you keep them. And we praise you for your power, that you are uh, fully capable of keeping all your promises. And so this night, Father God, uh, as we uh, end this day, uh, as we uh, prepare to uh, lay down and sleep, we praise you that you watch over us, uh, that you do not slumber or sleep. Uh, so, uh, Father, we um, commit ourselves to you and uh, we ask for your blessing and your grace. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, well, um, I'd love to tell you more about this book. Uh, I haven't finished it yet, so maybe uh, there'll be more delights uh, for us uh, at another point. Well, every blessing. Thank you for watching. Good night and God bless you.